Okay guys, so let's talk posture, let's talk longevity, let's get rid of all them aches and pains from your shoulders, from your back, from your knees. Let's talk posture, let's talk longevity. So that's gonna help you with your training, it's gonna help you be stronger with your training, stronger with your chest training, stronger with your leg training. Let's talk about all that. So a lot of modern life will mess us up. We have our shoulders rolled forwards, we're on the mobile phone all the time, we're sitting on the sofa, we're driving the car, we have this internal rotation of the shoulder, it's not very good for the shoulder joint. So I'm gonna start there, I'm gonna move down to the pelvis and I'm gonna talk about why having your bum sticking out and relaxing your abs is not good, not having a strong um, glutes isn't good. Talk about feet as well, so we're gonna go through the whole body, but really, really quickly, and there's a lot of other videos within the hub that will help you with, with this type of, the type of exercise I'm gonna go through. So the human body isn't supposed to be all floppy, it's supposed to be strong and upright, we're supposed to have muscles to hold us with, with good posture, and we shouldn't have to think about it too much because we should have the muscles in place to hold us, it, hold us in that good posture. So the shoulder rolled forward, it's not, it's not a good position to be in. The mobile phone and the car makes us do it, we know that, the sofa. So what we need to do is strengthen the muscles in our back to help this shoulder be back and down. It's a better position, it's a lot, of help, a lot more healthier for the shoulder. It's going to reduce the, reduce the chances of injury in the shoulder as well from impingement. It's also going to stabilise the shoulder joint a lot better and give us better posture. So we're also going to not have our shoulders rolled forwards and not need to lift our head up. So basically when our shoulders are rolled back and we have better posture, we're going to get rid of a lot of neck pain, shoulder pain and things like that. So the first thing we need to do is work on external rotation. So I've got a band here. A good exercise for this is, is pu actually pulling a band towards your face. This will be the beginning, the beginning of learning external rotation of the shoulder. And you can also do it by having a shoulder back and down externally rotating this way. So that will build, that will begin to build, if you've never done that before, the muscles to bring your shoulders back. And then within the rest of the training, I always put it in my training plans, I always put external rotation into the plans to help your shoulder be back and down, be in a good position and help you have good posture on your upper body. So what this shoulders back and down position is going to give you is good posture. So when you're doing an overhead press, you're going to be able to get your hand over your head really, really well. When you're doing a bench press or any chest movement, you're going to have your shoulder in a good position to be able to do the press. If your shoulders rolled forward, it's in a real, it's a really real dangerous position that can cause injury. And when you're trying to press over your head from here, you're not be able to get over because the, the ligaments are stuck. That's the first thing, but it's going to cause injury. So it's going to, you're going to get impingement in there. So the first thing I want you to learn: shoulders back and down. Have good posture on your upper body. Build the muscles in your back to hold your shoulders in the right place. Now my shoulders will sit comfortably now and I don't think about it too much because the muscles are actually doing that for me. So in the early stages you're going to have to catch yourself all the time and think shoulders back and down, shoulders back and down. After a short amount of time your shoulders will actually just stay there naturally and you'll have, you'll have good posture. Okay so for the next thing is the pelvis. If you think about the pelvis being like a bucket of water and what we want to do is go from this bum sticking out, belly sticking out position, we want to tip the bucket of water so the water's not pouring out the front we want to be able to activate the core, activate the glutes, and actually level the pelvis. So relaxed glutes, relaxed core, tight core, tight glutes. It, it changes the dynamics of how the pelvis sits. Now, if you're sitting with a relaxed core and your bum sticking out, all of the weight of your body sits in this part of your back and can cause a lot of back issues. So belly button in, glutes tight. So to make this natural and automatic and you don't have to think about it, you need to train your glutes. We've got a lot of glute exercises that you can see in the hub and we've got a lot of core exercises, so belly button in and squeezed. Now I'm standing here now and I'm not thinking about glutes and core. My, my glutes are tight, my core is tight, but only a little bit because the muscles are there, they're strong and I have, it makes me have good posture. So working down a little bit further, a lot of knee pain is caused by having weak glutes, weak core and weak feet. Okay, so not having the muscles there to be able to hold things in place. So if you think about what your glutes do, as you activate your glutes, it slightly turns your knees out and look what it does to the feet. It puts the feet in, feet in a good position, make sure your, knee, your knees tracking over your feet and it gives you a good position there. Okay, so glute strength can actually get rid of a lot of knee pain. Working down to the feet, I'm gonna take my shoes off. I've got odd socks as always. If you've got weak feet, your feet will turn in and cause a lot of pain in the knees because it's not tracking properly. So strong glutes, strong feet, your feet sit in the right position by having the muscles in the bottom of your feet activated slightly most of the time 
will put your knees into a good position so you get a lot, get rid of a lot of knee pain. So the reason I'm so passionate about talking about all this is because when I started training, my posture was shit. My bum would stick out, my shoulders would be rolled forward. I'm still carrying injuries in my shoulder from 10 years ago when I used to train really, really wrong. So in a nutshell, I've been there, done that, I don't want you to do that, I want you to feel great, I want you to look great and I want you to be able to train without having all these aches and pains that are unnecessary. So work on your posture, starting with your shoulders, shoulders back and down, core, belly button in, working on your glutes and even going as far as working on your feet strength.